What I think is really interesting with the animated features that we've done is that it gives people a chance to experience Dead Space in a different way. In the game, you're busy shooting. In the animated feature, you really get the ability to sort of tell a story. You can go really deep on stuff that people might want to know about. What have I done? Dr. Strauss, I've got the Sandra! Sandra, get out! Get out! Dead Space Aftermath takes place between the Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 games. The red marker that Isaac destroyed is now being recovered by a team of engineers and scientists who find themselves at the center of a far-reaching government conspiracy. Oh my God, it's actually real? This movie gave us a chance to have some of those conspiracies and plots and schemes come to the foreground and be revealed. But it's how Dead Space Aftermath reveals its story that truly sets it apart from any other animated feature you've seen. Which is essentially the most disturbing, terrifying horror movie we can make, told Rashomon style in flashbacks. Rashomon was Akira Kurosawa's cinematic masterpiece, told through a series of flashbacks, where a crime has to be solved based on four separate and conflicting eyewitness accounts. We really like the idea of bringing unique styles of animation to the project, and telling the story in a Rashomon style story allowed us a reason to actually have several different styles of animation and actually enhance the experience. You've got these different characters, as they're flashing back, it goes to a different style. Each unique animation style was meticulously hand-drawn and produced by four virtually unknown Korean animation studios. It is far better and far more imaginative than the animation being done in the United States. Destroy that thing now! We had an opportunity to harness that talent into this really unique vision, but not to let it become anime. But perhaps the most important contribution of Dead Space Aftermath is how it takes the Dead Space lore into another groundbreaking artistic direction. Did everyone get out? What is it? The movie is raw, and it's scary, and it's bloody and gory and violent. I think fans are going to love that. They want something that's unrestrained, and it's unrestricted, and it's just pushing the envelope. Every single frame is a painting created specifically to affect or inspire or charm you. It really has all the elements of a big blockbuster film all tied into one tight package that just happens to be animated.